It won't budge. It's Ramona's coloring book. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? It's getting late outside. Folks, there's no one's good for them. are safely both in their homes by now. Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal. I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police drag Waits off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah. I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. It's unlocked. You don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap! Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. And considering your recent break in and entering, how about I ask the questions? Have you any idea who I am? No, and I really don't care. My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. <laughs> I'm from out of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billingham. Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth. The rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to Rowley. When you find him, give him this. He'll know it's from me.
Nothing of interest. It won't open. Boxes of dead fish. What a stench. Nothing of interest here. That's not right. That's not right. Yes, that's it. The safe holds a heavily bound manuscript. The front is embossed with the words, Book of Dagon. It's getting late. I'd better start making tracks. I don't much fancy spending the night in this hole. Bothering me, stranger. Do you have board for the night? We've plenty on the top floor of the house. Nice views over the town, I'm told. Great. That that sounds just swell.
you all right there, sir? You're starting to look kind of funny there for a while. Face as white as bone and eyes as black as coal. Like you'd seen a ghost or something. I'm fine, thanks. It's just the sea air around these parts it makes me queasy. The Innsmouth's breeze is not for your outsiders. Charlie, can you come with me? I need to be telling you something. Perfectly. Excuse me, sir. The Innsmouth law doesn't like to be kept hanging about. I'll be right back with you shortly. It's the key to the back office. It's unlocked. Can't see anything of use. The hatchet is encrusted with blood. I'm not touching it. I wonder what secrets this book holds. There are severed body parts strewn all over the office. There are severed body parts strewn all over the office. Follow me, sir. I'll show you to your lodgings. I heard there was a killing over the old Waits house tonight. They reckon the old fool killed his own daughter. Caked head to toe in her blood, they says. And had to be dragged away, screaming and crying. I reckon there'll be a lynching for what he done. Still looking pallid, sir. You're needing to have yourself some rest. Sleep well, and keep down the racket. Us Innsmouth are quiet folk. Budge. <laughs> it won't open. It won't open. <laughs> 